So our first program will consist of a switch which activates something and we will be using the software to activate the switch and you will see it on the SCADA pack. We will be having other videos on how to configure the SCADA pack and the software but this is a basic understanding of how to program a simple switch and something it activates. And this is common to all SCADA packs, the following code, which will activate on all of them. This one is regarding the SCADA pack 32. We begin with this palette you see here, and we will be using this one, a normally open contact. And what you do is you put that, you drag that over here, and things will operate from this direction to this side, from left to right. So this is our switch, and this is a coil. So what we do is we send this program to the SCADA pack. We hit right. There, so it sent it over. We will be going through all of these different palettes and what they do, but let's start with a simple one, such as a switch. You push it, and this is called a coil. This coil will go on. This program is now inside the SCADA pack, and it won't do anything right now until we actually have the computer at this point we're going to manually push this so what you do is you hit monitor and on this you can hit no and we can monitor this one one thing you can do is right click this and monitor element and you can stick it it'll say group one you can make all different groups but this is fine and once this is monitored what you can do is double click this and you have this screen we can turn a switch on this one is obviously on or it's on or it's off so this we're going to turn it on and we're going to force it on forced which means it will force that switch to go on if I hit OK I just heard a click on the SCADA pack so let me show you what that looks like so the light went on that says relay settings. Now I'm going to double click it. This again, and I'm going to say off. Click it here. Well, well this is forced, so we're going to force it off. And you can hit OK. Now I hit, hear it click, and now it is off. So you're probably wondering what these are. These are registers. Let's try this. What this number will do is this is actually activating which relay on there. This is actually activating which coil or relay is on the SCADA pack. We can, I want to actually, let me take it off monitor, offline. Let's change this to a, you, how you do this is you click this or double click it and let's change this value to two. I'm not going to touch this one. Let's just do this one. Let's hit monitor again. And it says that they don't match, which is true. I just changed it. Any changes you go you do on here, you have to write it. Go to write and write it and hit yes cuz you want to restart it. Write it to the SCADA pack. Now let's go to monitor. says it's running you can hit no on this let's open group one like we had started and it is available online which means we can we can uh, we can force it I'm going to force this one on if I force it I just heard a click 
Let's see which one that one activates. That one activated number one on the SCADA pack. So let's double click it and let's turn it off and we'll force it. Now we click it and number one is now off. So this controls the relays. Let me go offline. I will go back to the first one. Let's put it as one. Now you can see the differences of how that changes everything. Now we just made a change. I changed it. We have to write it to the SCADA pack. Now let's go back into monitor mode. Open the group. And let's force it on so you can see what it does. I'm going to hit OK. I just heard it click. And let's see what that does. That activated zero on our relay status. That is relay zero. So you can tell there's an offset. This is zero. And then if I go to two, it's one. So I'm going to turn it off. Off. Now I've heard the relay click on this data pack, which it shows none of them are operating. And this time I'm actually, as we finish this lesson, unforce it here, which is no, hit off, or we hit OK. Now none of them are forced, and the light on the SCADA pack for forced does not show up, which means the SCADA pack doesn't have anything that is forced on or off. And that is our first lesson. I'm going to go to offline mode. That is our first lesson of how you can use a switch to activate a coil using the computer to manually turn this on. If you like the lesson, feel free to give us a thumbs up. And also, this is part of our industrial programming using ladder logic. One thing I always wanted to do giving a lesson on ladder logic and this is a good start using the SCADA pack for this. If you like the video give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And remember keep on learning.